previous experiment, we observed how different wavelengths of light are diffracted by a grating. Gratings and prisms can be used to disperse light from different sources into their component wavelengths for analysis. The emission spectra of atoms are made up of distinct emission lines. The wavelengths of emission lines from hydrogen were described mathematically in 1890 by the Rydberg equation, shown here. While this equation predicted the wavelength of previously undiscovered emission lines, there was no scientific explanation for why the equation worked. The Bohr model explained the existence of these discrete emission lines as arising from quantized electronic transitions. This provided a theoretical foundation for the Rydberg constant. In this experiment, you will measure the Balmer series of both hydrogen and deuterium, use these measurements to calculate the Rydberg constant for hydrogen and deuterium, compare your results with theoretically calculated values. To the naked eye, there's very little difference between the emission spectra of hydrogen and deuterium. However, when dispersed through a grating and measured using a spectrometer, minute differences in the wavelengths of the specific emission lines can be detected. In this experiment, you'll be measuring the emission spectra from hydrogen and deuterium lamps using an ocean optic spectrometer and software. Shown here is an example of the data you'll collect. The two brightest peaks at 656 and 486 nanometers are visible. You'll have to adjust the acquisition time and other settings to measure all of the peaks in the visible spectrum. Here you can see how this experiment actually works. You begin by connecting a fiber optic cable to the emission lamps. This cable passes light from the lamp along the length of the cable to the ocean optic spectrometer where it's analyzed. Using the software, you can collect and export spectral data for hydrogen and deuterium. In order to resolve transitions from higher principal quantum numbers, you'll need to increase your acquisition time and averaging. Resolving faint peaks comes at the expense of your resolution for bright peaks. You'll also collect emission data from other light sources in the lab. <laughs>